Oh, he's no longer on the phone. Well, uh, I very much appreciate all of you attending tonight. Uh, yeah, it's great to see you. Some I've seen uh, as uh, like on Saturday and uh, others I haven't seen for a while. So uh, welcome, welcome. How's my good friend Heather doing? I am doing very well. I just got back from the mainland. Um, I went to a an 80th birthday party of a childhood friend in Tucson, and I was awarded two prizes, two categories of prizes. Number one, I had known her the longest, and number two, I'd traveled the furthest. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> it was fun. Thank you for asking. <laughs> All right, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be cranking here. You know, um, Al, it's good seeing you. I think, it, weren't you traveling also? I am. I'm in uh, Vancouver, Washington right now, and it's freezing here. <laughs> it's probably freezing in upcountry Maui too, isn't it, Heather? Yes, it is. When we get up in the morning, we take a very quick shower and we put on tennis shoes, socks, slacks, and a sweater. <laughs> At least you don't it, have blowing snow. Well, that's true. We don't have mm -hmm. snow, but boy, I tell you, it is cold. All right. Uh, let's get cranking. Uh, First, I'm going to put uh, uh, Susie on the spot and have her tell folks a little bit about our ginky ball toss on uh, on Saturday. Okay, thank you. We just had our second uh, ginky ball making session and education with Hiro Nago from the uh, Genki Aloi uh, at my school greenhouse. And we've made 1,700 balls so far. And we had our first deployment. So we were 1230 to 330. We made another batch. And then we went to the park with over 100 attendees, including probably five clubs and the uh, Rotary Club of Hiroshima, Hiroshima. I'm not sure how to say that, um, joining club. us. And we Genki hoed uh, 700 balls in seven locations. And we've done our pre-testing with UH for water quality testing. We've done sludge depth. And now we'll be doing a, a post-test in a few weeks. And uh, we have another deployment on uh, December 23rd, uh, 5 p.m. Festival of the Lights with an educational rotary outreach at uh, the park. And then um, the school will be doing the next few making sessions and then we'll have another big one for rotary on uh, Rotarians at Workday, April 22nd and the final deployment on May 20th during the district conference. So, uh, and then we'll, the post testing after that. So. Uh, lots of energy and excitement around it, and um, I think it's a great thing. So really excited about the project, and we've all learned a lot from Hero. Thank you. Thank you for being there, Randy. Oh, it was my pleasure. It was uh, it was good fun. Um, it was really it. special uh, having our uh, sister club from Hiroshima uh, here at, at the event, and we had him here for I think four days. Um, so it, uh, it just made the event just a little bit more more special than, than what it already was. So uh, I've already been out there, Susie, and checked the pond, and uh, you know most of the balls have completely dissolved. All of them have sunk, uh, and then uh, you can see some of them, uh, you know, that we dropped close to the shore, uh, you know, are still holding together, but you know, just barely. They're they're dissolving right away. Oh, um, and uh, speaking of district conference, uh, you know, our, our numbers uh, are up pretty good uh, for, for the district conference. But, you know, uh, I highly encourage you to uh, engage with, uh, with with each one, each one of your members to to get them to uh, participate uh, in the district conference. Uh, undoubtedly, I, I, I especially for East and West Hawaii, uh, this will be the least costly district conference uh, I think that we'll, we'll, we'll see in any time soon. It's just all the 
the rates and stuff at the hotels are are, are way up. So, uh, uh, and, you know, especially for you know the East Hawaii clubs, uh, the you know they, they don't have to travel. So, uh, with that not having to travel, uh, the cost for them to attend the district conference is, is going to be uh, very very minimal. Uh, just the registration fee, unless they decide to stay at the hotel. And that's what makes it really affordable for everybody coming off island to the big island is the hotel rates are only $160, $169 a night. Uh, and I don't think we'll ever find uh, hotel rates uh, in, any less than than, than that. Uh, so I do highly encourage you to talk to your folks and, and get them to uh, uh, sign up to come to the district conference. It should be good, good fun. We're hoping for a good fun event. Friday night is going to be Kanakapila uh, only with very, very little uh, rotary thrown in other than to uh, welcome folks. Uh, and if there's any business that we might have to take care of that night. But for the most part, uh, it's just going to be Kanakapila night. Uh, come and enjoy. And, and obviously right now, the uh, the volcano is putting on a fantastic <laughs> uh, So if for no other reason, and come over and, and, and see the show. Uh, I, I'm confident that, that there will still be some kind of show going on in May, uh, if not uh, at, at uh, Mauna Loa, uh, there's no sign of it slowing down uh, up in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Uh, so um, like the show over here. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> speaking of, of dates, uh, you know, December 21st, uh, we're doing a district district-wide Zoom holiday party, you know, from uh, six to seven. Uh, and that is just to, uh, you know, recognize everybody for the end of the year. We can't all get together uh, in the district, but we can get together on Zoom for an hour, uh, have a cocktail, uh, eat poo-poos from our, uh, our desk, uh, and uh, uh, just celebrate uh, the year and, and kick off into the new year on a very positive note. So uh, uh, please do encourage your folks to uh, to sign up. Uh, we have plenty of room on the Zoom link, so we won't run out of space. Um, very important for all the, the presidents and the AGs that <clears throat> coming up on the 14th of January, uh, we have our mid-year uh, president's meeting. Uh, and, and that's a very important time for us to uh, catch up and see where everybody's at on their goals, how uh, everything's going, what their challenges are, uh, where they may need some help, uh, or to, to share success stories, uh, which is just important and, and actually more important than anything else that we do. Uh, just begin, when we share our successes, that's where we get the good ideas and, and we, we move forward. Uh, and uh, I said, I happen to try and reinvent everything ourselves. Uh, you know, we're, we're uh, leaning on others as we should as a district uh, with with great ideas and best practices. You know, a reminder that if your club hasn't already scheduled their uh, uh, elections for December, uh, you, you need to do that uh, very soon. You know, the bylaws uh, all ask us to uh, complete our elections uh, in December. Uh, I know uh, of a couple uh, that are doing it in early January. And that's probably the most important thing is that you've got it scheduled, you got it on your calendar, you got it on your club calendar, uh, and, and it's going to happen. Um, I'm not sure. I, I think we're doing pretty well on the uh, PEs, but but I don't know. I haven't talked to Mark lately to find out uh, exactly where, where he's at on his numbers. Oh, I don't see Mark on yet, uh, so uh, can't get an update from him uh, on, on that. Um, let's see. You know, your club federal tax filing was due the 15th of November. Uh, I know, you know, some clubs fall behind on doing that. Some are very, very good. They do it early uh, and it's done. Uh, but uh yeah, uh, please do that if you haven't already done it uh, and, and send a copy to grants at rotaryd5000.org uh, so they can help track uh, where the district is at on making sure that uh, we've, we've done our IRS filings. 
If you're sponsoring any students to RILA, please send in your payment soon. Uh, Oahu RILA is $150 per student, and checks should go to Rotary D5000, PO Box 3325. Hey, Randy. For Oahu folks. Yeah, that's for Oahu. Um, can I go back to the tax filing? Um, just sure. want to remind everybody Please do. that mm. your year end for Rotary Clubs is June 30. That's the year end. And so uh, you should be filing. Uh, the deadline would have been um, November 15th. And so you should be using your federal ID for your club. Okay, so just a reminder for that. And also uh, a reminder, the annual youth protection club certification uh, was due to the district uh, first of November, I believe. Uh, so if if you if you if you have not done uh, the annual youth protection certification, you need to do that uh, as soon as possible. You technically and and by right a you, you sh sh shouldn't be engaged with uh, children until you've done that youth protection uh, training. So, you know, very, very important if, if you uh, and, and your representative uh, have not conducted that training, you need to do so as soon as possible. Uh, and, and Naomi can, and Benson can provide you uh, more detailed information on uh, where we, you can knock that training out now uh, because the district training that, that we did was done several months ago or a few months ago anyway. You know, Rotary's anniversary is coming up on February 23rd. Uh, we have a, a good indication on uh, when the uh, um, RI major gifts uh, officer, John Teich and uh, the zone uh, foundation chair Shirley Grace uh, will be here on island. Uh, actually, they'll be on all all the islands. Uh, February twenty second, they will be on Kauai. Uh, February twenty third, uh, they'll be on Oahu at Nikos. Uh, East Hawaii be February twenty third twenty fourth at Moku Papa Discovery Center. I probably didn't pronounce that correctly, but anyway, that's where it's at. And then West Hawaii. Uh, it, it will have theirs on the 25th, uh, and Maui will have theirs on the 27th at Seascape. Uh, so we got the date set. We just don't have the, the details uh, on when they will arrive on each one of the islands and where they'll be staying and, uh, uh, and that additional information. Just wanted to cover briefly, you know, some of the upcoming Zoom uh, dates that we got uh, going on. I mentioned earlier, 21 December, uh, 6 to 7, the holiday Palhana Zoom uh, celebration. And then 14 January, the mid-year president's mid-year meeting. Uh, and then uh, for all your PEs, uh, 3 February uh, is when they will have to be in uh, LA for Southwest Pets. Uh, I'm sure Mark is putting out uh, much more information to the PEs. Um, and then uh, there's the various training that uh, that we've got ongoing. Uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, 8 February, President-elect training, um, membership training on the 11th of February. And of course, that's my most important uh, element is that membership training. Important to be there for, for that though. And let's see. You know, in, in my uh, travels around the districts, one of the things that, that I heard many times over was uh, why there isn't any local uh, Rotary in Hawaii advertisement that, that we do. Uh, some folks seen the, the RI advertisements that, that we had here, uh, but the number one uh, concern about that was uh, it depicted Rotary uh, international big picture, but didn't focus, didn't really relate to Rotary in Hawaii. Uh, so with uh, Naomi's help and Janet Schaefer's help, uh, we have a Rotary in Hawaii advertisement coming out uh, that focuses on Rotary in Hawaii within about the next week or so. Uh, we got all the uh, uh, approvals uh, completed and stuff. So 
you should should start to see that within the next week or so uh, on local TV channels. So, you know, uh, of course, uh, I wouldn't be talking if I didn't talk about membership a little bit. Uh, and, uh, you know, <clears throat> trust me, now is the time that, that you want to build the momentum uh, it, for bringing in members. Uh, it's just, uh, if we if we wait beyond the first of the year uh, and where we get into uh, the second quarter, uh, it, it's just about too late to make things happen for, for your clubs. Uh, so we got to build that momentum now uh, and, and continue, continuing to push it forward. You know, we've, we've got a lot of success stories uh, out there right now where uh, clubs are up, uh, you know, significant numbers. The Eco Club of Maui, uh, you know, previously uh, Valley Isle, you know, they're up seven. Uh, Hilo is up 21, if you can believe that. Uh, Pahoa Sunset, uh, up six. Uh, and uh, when you consider that's almost a 50% increase, that's a great job, Susan. Uh, now that's just fantastic. Waianae Coast is up four. West Kauai is up five. Another uh, small club that that is, that is just doing excellent. Um, and, and the Maui Club, uh, you know, uh, yeah, thanks to Heather, is doing very, very well. Uh, I don't have the latest numbers on the uh, on Maui Club, but I know they're they're up. Uh, should be double digits from what me and Heather had, had discussed. So yeah, and we we will be having three more. Uh, awesome. Or in the next, uh, you know, the next uh, time to pay your dues. So we've got three more now. Awesome. And I, I think don't think that, you have. Yeah. I well, I think that's seventeen now. That. That is unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But you don't have to wait until, um, you know, January 1st in order to bring the folks in. You're more than welcome to wait till then. But uh, if you put them in uh, today, uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Naomi, but uh, RI is not going to prorate that one month uh, and add it to their dues. So. And then, you know, there are uh, uh, others doing great. Lahaina's uh, up six. Kakako's uh, Eco Club up six. Uh, East Honolulu, uh, awesome job. Keisha, you guys are up six. Uh, Eva Beach, another small club, up three. Uh, Waikiki, uh, Adrian, great job, up seven. Uh, South Hilo is up three. Kauai Kai, another uh, small club, up three. Uh, Rotor Act E Club is up five, uh, and, and with 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 that one, let, let me talk just a little bit about uh, Rotor Act E Club, so everybody in the district knows uh, what is going on with Rotor Act. With, with Rotor Act, come one January, uh, we have to uh, Rotor Act members have to pay dues. They're significantly reduced from uh, our uh, our dues as Rotarians. Well, they're, they're considered Rotarians too. It's just that they, they have a reduced dues uh, for, from, what, uh, from what we pay. Uh, but the, the kicker that, that folks are probably not aware of is that uh, I wasn't aware of it until the other day that <clears throat> they're now cleaning their rosters that probably should have been cleaned a long time ago because uh, many of the members that were listed as Rotaract members haven't been Rotaract members for quite some time. Uh, but in order for the club not to get charged, now they finally have to take an action. Uh, so they'll end up having to drop uh, those uh, RURAC members that, that haven't been members for, for quite some time. Uh, and what that will do, that will cause a significant dip uh, in um, membership because now they count towards the district's uh, membership numbers. Uh, <clears throat> so we'll, we'll kind of take a hit uh, on that. Uh, just like we'll take a hit on, uh, you know, folks being dropped <clears throat> this month. You know, but, yeah, you know, it's just the way things have. But, you know, things have changed for, for rotor actors. They are considered members, and they are they do have to pay dues effective uh, uh, 1 January. So 
Did I miss any of that, uh, Naomi? Okay. I, I don't. I need to check with Mark, uh, but I understand he's not Mark Harbison uh, to see how uh, everybody's doing on our global grant, grant pledges. Uh, they were due on November first, and last I knew, we still had uh, a few clubs that haven't uh, made their uh, designated their their, their pledge uh, on global grants. Uh, and the important part there is Mark needs to know if a club is not going to. Uh, participate in, in global grants. He needs to know that so he can work out an arrangement to capture those funds so the district doesn't uh, lose out on those funds also. Uh, even though it's a match, uh, you know, uh, can offer those global grants up to other clubs uh, that are participating and looking for more money. Uh, and so uh, if your clubs have, have not uh, designated uh, you know, their 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 global grants that they, they need to let uh, Mark and me know uh, as soon as possible. Uh, this conference is coming along uh, quite well, as I mentioned. And what I failed to mention was that the uh, the Rotary Club of Hilo Sister Club from Hiroshima, uh, uh, just because we invited them, uh, 20 of them uh, signed up to, to come to the district conference. Uh, and, you know, the point there is, is that, you know, it's great that they're coming and, and it's great to have them here. But many times if we don't ask, people don't uh, participate. Uh, but as soon as you ask, which was the case with uh, Hiroshima Club, uh, Hiroshima South, I should say, uh, as soon as they got the invite, uh, they jumped on it. So, I have a feeling that uh, they may even have more folks sign up. And we're uh, with, with uh, if we get all of the Hiroshima group, we're up to about 185 uh, as far as uh, folks signed up for the district conference. So come to Hilo, experience the volcano. Uh, just to give uh, folks a quick update too uh, <clears throat> on international projects. Uh, we're uh, uh, Naomi and uh, Arjun and company are all taking off for uh, uh, Nepal this week uh, on the 7th. Uh, so they'll be gone about 10 days or so. Um, and then um, in June uh, is when we're planning on uh, doing uh, the project down in Fiji, the solar project down in Fiji. It's wide open for anybody to sign up and, and come down with us. Uh, it should be a Good, significant, but fun event. Um, and in Vietnam, uh, uh, Mariko is, is taking a group down to uh, to Vietnam. That'll probably happen later in, in the year. Uh, they still got some things to do to put that uh, finishing touches on that one. On the PG project, uh, we just got our global grant and everything approved. So <clears throat> that one should be a, a good go, good to go. Um, so, uh, well, if uh, anybody still needs a rotary shirt, I still have uh, a few left. We've done very, very well in, in selling our rotary uh, shirts this year. So, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're out of the hole uh, already. So, but uh, we do have some, uh, some rotary shirts left. Uh, give me a, Drop me an email if you if you need a shirt, want a shirt. Uh, I've got some. And last thing I want to mention is, is you know joint community service projects. Please ensure that you know uh, if you've got a joint project coming up um, that that you get it posted. And, and if you need help, uh, by all means, for people to to jump into um, and, and uh, participate in a joint project and try to instead of trying to create all the logistics and all the work uh, required to uh, come up with a, a district project. So with that, that's all I have, uh, but do want to open it up to any questions, uh, comments, um, whatever uh, that may be on your mind, uh, ask away. 
Jenny, didn't you guys just get an award with the, the Genki film? You want us to share that? Yes, we got second place in the SRAG video contest. And the award was that we get to be showcased in the VR world. If you guys didn't know, Rotary has a VR world. I just found that out a few days ago. What is that VR world? What is, what is a VR world? Uh, it's a virtual reality world. And I don't know too much about it. I just learned about it. So it's basically like, um, you know, when you watch a real estate listing and then you can mm -hmm. like walk through the house and you can press mm -hmm. on different rooms to walk into. So Rotary International created like a conference or something or like different rooms inside of a building in this VR world that they created. And if you go in there, you can watch our Genki Ball videos showcased inside. Hmm. It's very interesting. <laughs> and I don't know how much is how much it's promoted because I haven't really heard much about it. So I have a question. Yes. Um, my question is, in, do you have to be a member of Rotary to go to Fiji? Uh, <clears throat> not, not necessarily. Uh, if, uh, you know, um, if you have a friend or relative that wants to go along with you, uh, it's no problem. We, we don't have a capacity thing. And part of the, yep. Uh, event going down there is the, the folks in Fiji uh, are welcome us to bring as many folks as uh, we possibly can because they, they want to expose people to the real Fiji. Uh, so uh, now we, we can bring as we can bring as many as we want. Uh, if we get to a point where we get a whole lot of people uh, coming, you know, uh, but until such time that I say, you know, hey, we're full. Uh, we can't take right. anybody. You know, feel free to uh, sign up and sign up. And the one to contact on that is Steve Handy. Uh, okay. If you need his contact information, just uh, send send me a note uh, if you're uh, if you're interested, uh, and and I'll ask Steve to uh, inform you on on what's going on. And and I can tell you, for the most part, if you call me or send me a, a text or an email. I can uh, uh, provide a lot of uh, information. Uh, you know on when the project. in June? You know when in June? It's uh, we we're hoping it's going to be early June uh, because uh, well, let me take that back. Uh, I'm asking them to shoot for the second week in June uh, because a lot of us will be in Fiji uh, and then coming back, so it wouldn't work if it was real early June. So. I'm asking for it to be the second or third week in June. Well, the reason I'm asking is because, as you know, Randy, I have people connected to our club who are millennials who just plain don't join things, but they love to do the projects. And I think that's probably true of a lot of clubs that, you know, they're, they're the young people that, that just love to, you know, participate in, in the projects, but they, for whatever reason, they just don't want to join organized anything, you know. So anyway, they're there. And I think that they would be interested in going on a service project like this. You know, Heather, I, I think that uh, going on a service project uh, like this uh, very well may be the uh, thing that throws them over the, mm -hmm. the hump and they, they want to become officially a part of, of Rotary. I uh, agree. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I know the, the ones you're you're talking about there. I know you like, know. <laughs> and I know of you course, know they were they were all there. There were probably seven of the people that fit in that category there that day, uh, planting sandwich trees. I know you met them all, Randy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Randy, uh, Steve is going to set up a um, site on the Club Runner. If people are interested in Fiji, they put their name in so that he can email them whenever there's meetings. So we'll, uh, we'll set that up. The link will be on the, um, the international service page. 
Perfect. But, uh, you know, also, you know, I, I, I don't mind folks contacting me directly about the, uh, uh, the trip, uh, but it, it's good there to look over the information and then give me a jingle. Um, I can talk more about the trip. You want to uh, talk about the uh, Nepal trip just a little bit, Naomi? Okay. Um, so the, we're going to two high schools in Nepal, and we're teaching um, computer skills, financial literacy, agriculture, surveying. Um, Randy Ching from the Pro Ridge Club, I'm not sure if uh, Dick, you know this, he's going to be talking about um, road safety, and that apparently is a really good uh, interesting topic for them. Um, but they have a lot of kids coming in for the classroom um, teaching. And Arjun said this information that we're giving them is really impactful because they're not getting that in school. So it'll really help them with the uh, life skills. So we're it's from the 7th through the 16th. And then uh, the, Kat, the Kat, Kathmandu Club is going to um, take us in for lunch. And then uh, we're going to Bhutan after that. Is it cold there now? Actually, no. It's, it's not as cold as Salt Lake City. <laughs> <laughs> when we went to Salt Lake City, it was like 35 degrees. Yeah, it was snow on the ground uh, when we got there. So I think we got there right after the really cold spell, but it was still pretty darn cold. Not as cold as where Al is at now, but uh, uh, it was uh, cold for somebody from Hawaii. <laughs> We all have wimp blood. <laughs> it was even cold in Florida when I was there. Couldn't believe it. They couldn't believe it either. So what are the questions we got out there in the Rotary world? I have a question. Sure. And the, the uh, global grants. Uh, do you know those clubs filed for for uh, uh, the paperwork? Well, the for for a global grant, uh, you know the uh, the for example here in Hawaii, uh, and, and the recent one we just did in Fiji, and same thing with the, in Nepal. The club here will be the one that, that kind of puts it together, but. There has to be a club on the ground there that that will uh, agree to do uh, to be the on ground representative. So there's got to be two: one, one here in uh, Hawaii and, and one on the ground, whether it be Vietnam, Nepal, Fiji, where uh, they have to help put together the uh, needs assessment, the community assessment, uh, and then uh, uh, kind of determine where you're going to come up with the the funding. Uh, for the project. And then uh, once that all gets put together, this is a very brief story on how it works. Mark uh, Harvinson can uh, obviously uh, provide a lot more detail on it. And, and Naomi, uh, Arjun uh, can, Arjun, very, very good uh, at doing it too. So if you have a project uh, that you're interested in doing, um, you know, you, you, you want to host it, you know, it's a, uh, um, you know, Mark, Naomi, and Arjun, all very, very happy to uh, uh, to help you out uh, on, on putting putting it together. But the basics are: it takes two clubs. You know, the, I'm, I'm, here and the host club in the country. I'm thinking about the uh, Marcellis Community Water Project here on uh, on the Big Island. I think it's the file for global grants, this clubs uh, the file for global grant and uh, use it uh, towards the project. That's uh, what I, I kind of uh, tell I'm kind of telling my clubs uh, here in Los Hawaii. They could fill, uh, file it and then uh, uh, use it to help uh, uh, funding for uh, the water project, Marcellus water project here on the island. 
Well, Nestorio, so for a global grant, it needs to be in a foreign country. So if you're going to, we looked into that to do a reverse global grant where another country would um, sponsor the grant and fund that for Ocean View. Um, and Mark Harbison didn't think that that would fly, but um, we, um, we can still look at that, but it's got to be a, a foreign country club sponsoring that, that global grant. Now, your clubs can use DDF for that um, ocean view if, if they want. So they can repurpose if they're not using that for something else. But um, on Maui, Della Nakamoto is asking for pledges because they need to raise, I think, what it what was it, $65,000 for that project? Nestor? Yeah, I believe so. So the South Hilo Club is taking, the foundation is taking in donations. Yeah, yeah. I, I think Benson and, uh, and uh, some other folks there in uh, East Hawaii. Hey, Randy, do you want everybody to break out into um, breakout rooms and they can talk about what's working or what projects they're doing? Sure, that 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 works uh, works well for me. Okay. okay. I, I've got a question. Before we do that, um, I, what I'm finding, and I think this applies to everybody, is we're in the middle of a shift from paper to electronic, and our bylaws say the secretary is to keep all the records. That's not happening. Um, our secretary is not in a position to be uploading minutes onto the website. And so there are some in the club that think, well, I can handle the website, but people have to come to me and tell me what they want up there. And the thing is, is that that's not happening. I, I would think that if the person is handling the website, it would be more beneficial for them to go out to the members to say, how can I help you prepare a video or, a, or words to put on the website? And then the question is, is, is everybody doing stuff on the website and uploading, you know, you talk about this, club runner uploading to Rotary Central, uh, doing it within the club because they have someone who's tech savvy and is liking to do it? Or is anyone actually paying someone uh, outside of the club to be like their um, website manager and helping people to upload? Because if if it requires each individual committee chair to upload information, um, what if the committee chair is, you know, got a sick mother and they're taking their kids to soccer and this and that and the other, and they're really not that adept at uploading that? How are other people handling this? Well, I'll, I'll give a brief answer uh, to that and let, let Naomi uh, jump in. Uh, you know, you, you can uh, upload all of those files and stuff to, you know, a secure site uh, and store that information. But the, the, the problem that, that some have ran, ran into uh, is that um, the secretary is the only one that has a password to that, that website. Uh, so if something happens to the secretary, you've got no way to ever access that information in the website. So uh, you have to set up a method of where, where there's some redundancy, uh, you know, on, on maintaining where, where, who's got that password uh, so it doesn't walk away from you. Mm -hmm. um, uh, well, the last meeting that we had with Benson, he was asking for every club to identify a tech person in the club and we could help them with some of the technology. But um, one um, best practice is never have one person have the password to anything that is for the club. So you look at your Facebook, your website, 
um, your Gmail, if you have a group Gmail, it should not be just one person having that web, the, the password. So you might want to take care of that. Club Runner, you can um, upload documents to Club Runner is unlimited, almost un unlimited space. And anyone who has uh, um, admin can and can upload. It's not a good idea to just have one person be the webmaster. It's too much work for one person. So you, you should have a committee. So um, Adrian, for yours, it, it could be that everybody gives the report to the secretary when you have your board meeting and the secretary or your admin person will upload mm -hmm. that in one document. Well, I'll have to find somebody because our secretary is dealing with a husband who's dying of cancer and that she's not necessarily, you know, a tech person. I mean, when you're talking about a tech person, you're talking, I mean, all of us are technology capable to a certain degree, but um, I mean, I think it might be helpful because none of this was addressed at PETS and maybe at the conference where everybody brings their laptop and we're given personal, and maybe not for this year, but for next year, because I, I, I'm not sure it's helpful to assume that, oh, we'll give it to the secretary or the tech person. Well, what if you don't have a tech person? And then how do you do it? And how do you teach someone how to do it when they're like, well, I tried it, but I had a, a problem. Anyway, it's, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll um, we'll figure it out and I'll let you know what our our result was next time okay you can go breakout rooms you know i think it's best adrian uh you know and just a final comment on it that uh that 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 tech person be from within the club but there's nothing that that prevents your club from hiring uh you know but it, it gets it gets pretty expensive uh uh, obviously, once you're you're outside hiring, uh, you know a tech person to come in and maintain your uh, your files and uh, do your taxes and uh, all that kind of stuff. So this might be a good role for some of our Ryla potentials. Those kids know the computers inside out, backwards and upside down. So uh, yeah, Naomi, if you can kind of break folks out into uh, groups and and just talk about best practices and uh, great opportunity for uh, you know small group to talk about uh, you know challenges like Adrian just mentioned, you know somebody has okay. probably got a uh, a good solution. Okay, uh, what ten minutes? Eight minutes? Yeah, eight, I think eight minutes would be okay. uh, would be enough. Okay. Here you go. Oh, so Ann, so Ann, I have to tell you that the oldest member of our club won first prize for his costume. <laughs> so I was mentioning when you talk about best practices and making meetings fun, one of the things that developed in our club was that in October, and I, I can't whatever day that that turned out to be that was closest to uh, Halloween, which would have been the 26th, okay? One of our members said, why don't we have a costume Halloween thing? And we thought, that's great. And she went out and bought little decorations and this and that and the other. And everybody was to get, come dressed up as much as they wanted. And so we just had a fun time 
and prizes were given to the you know to the best costume for whatever and then we thought you know this is really not a bad idea like to do it for christmas january february could be valentines and if she needed a budget what a hundred dollars not even that to go out and buy little table settings and come up with kind of games uh to celebrate each month to make them those a fun meeting and it we all really like that idea so we're going to develop that i suppose we should post pictures but we're still i'm still figuring out how to get the pictures posted <laughs> anyway that's a one one good practices to make the meetings fun well hey randy think, uh, speaking of making things fun Maybe uh, they could come up with something on how to introduce the pre the presidents at the district conference on Saturday morning. Oh yeah, yep. Because uh, uh, our district conference is going to be uh, focusing on 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 fun and fellowship and celebration. So uh, any fun ideas folks have, uh, you know, uh, I, I'm very much. I, I think we should that. somersault everybody. Somersault all the way in. We can That'd that, be a right? one-way somersault for most of right. us. Um, <laughs> all my vertebrae are fused already, so I don't think so. <laughs> okay, maybe not then. You maybe can not. roll sideways. You don't have to roll <laughs> headwise. You can roll yeah. sideways. Just roll <laughs> you know, I have to ask, Randy, I, I guess I'm remiss. I have to go. I've registered, but I have to go back on the site to see what activities that are planned because then I would need to make the hotel reservations wider than just instead of just like Friday night, Saturday night, might want to make it what Wednesday, Thursday, and then maybe not Sunday would fly back. Is that stuff listed like, you know, a well, tour of the big island or? We're, we're, we're still putting the program together. We're, uh, you know, we're looking at doing uh, Mauna Kea now Mauna Loa. Uh, tours and, and volcano tours, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. but uh, we don't have the uh, exact itinerary set up, but it will be, like you said, it will be, those events be Wednesday, Thursday, because uh, most of us uh, are leaving like Monday, Tuesday uh, for Melbourne. Uh, so uh, probably won't have too much on, uh, on the, the tail end. So, well, I'm just wondering, and I guess maybe it's not really a problem with the hotel, because how would I know when to make, I guess I could make it for more days and then just cancel it or something. I mean, you see what I'm well, saying is that, are you going to be, yeah. are you already thinking you're going to do a, mon um, a volcano tour Wednesday or Thursday or Friday or third, well, you know, or not yet. You don't have that figured out yet. No, we, we don't have the, uh, okay. well, we're, we're, we're pretty close. Thanks to, uh, uh, Laura Steelquist and Naomi uh, putting the program together, uh, and uh, I'd have to check check with Jen on what days that she's planning the volcano uh, and the uh, tour. And anything to, else? Yeah. Yeah. Well, tentatively, and, it's the Wednesday at three thirty and twelve thirty. There, there's Mauna Kea at three thirty, and then whoa. evening volcano tour at twelve thirty on then, Wednesday. On Wednesday the seventeenth, then on Thursday, oh. there's Monica and the evening volcano tour again. But you know, there if you go on Wednesday, you can do other things on Thursday and Friday, and then there's golf on Friday. By the way, and by the way, Naomi, I have to tell you, thank you very much for sending out these notices with the links again. It I can't, you know, I mean, you my emails like it's way down at the bottom, you know, even if I archive and delete stuff it's so it's helpful when you send those out i did all that thank you yeah yeah it that's very helpful all right wednesday huh wednesday so that means you'd want to fly in tuesday Maybe? or you could fly you could fly in wednesday uh morning because those tours uh are both in the afternoon so you could come in that morning you wouldn't have to come on on tuesday Okay. Uh, All evening. right. Well, just a thought. Just a thought. Thank you. Thank you very much. No, we're steadfastly heading towards the 
seven o'clock hour. Uh, and I like to end these things on time. Does anybody have some some great best practices that you you want to share share with the group? I like what Connie does. That when we I go to her meetings, she has like running photos or a video or something about the different events that have happened, so that when people are coming in and they're getting settled, they just you know they have all these great visuals and. It's inspiring to see the stuff. I know it's a lot of work that she puts into it, but I, I really appreciate and enjoy that when I go to Connie's meetings. Thanks, Susie. Anybody Thank else have you. a quick one? Well, if, if I don't see you on the 21st for our uh, Zoom holiday event, uh, I do want to wish everybody a, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Um, you know, it, it is right upon us. And, uh, oh. But do do come on the 21st. Uh, you know, if, if if you don't like it, just sign off. And <laughs> but remember, it, it <laughs> but Naomi's got to send out the link again. Thank you, Naomi. <laughs> Thank you for all you do, Randy, for being so present <laughs> with all of us and so supportive. And Naomi, mahalo. Really yeah, it's very it. helpful. Right. I agree, Susie. It's very, I very agree. helpful. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you all. Appreciate it. Thanks, Al. You guys Thank all have a great everybody. week. It's seven o'clock. See you again soon. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> hey, Jonathan. <laughs> What Great club meeting. Yeah, sunset, sunset. <laughs>